Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to Fort Nightmares. As you can see, we're about to go into Battle Royale because we potentially are going to get some news, some XP gifts. We don't know. So we're just going to uh, take a little look as we go in. Right. Oh, take down the king. Don't let the Storm King destroy the island. Squad up in the Storm King LTM to stop him. Now, he is from Save the World, but is in Battle Royale now for a special game mode. Quite like, oh my god, that looks pretty cool. So, Fort Nightmares challenges at uh, A for Nice. Uh, that gives you the Storm Sail Glider and rewards by completing Fort Nightmares challenges. There should be some other challenges as well. The Creative Curse challenges. Um, rewards by completing challenges in Creative Cuts. Right, let's have a little look. The um, actual screen here doesn't seem to have changed much except for the background being a little bit more storm orientated. We have new challenges. Um, I am confused a little bit because I haven't been given any XP here. And there was a rumour that we should have been getting a lot of XP because the new world and open water challenges those that had already done them got 14,000 XP, but those doing them now gives you 52,000 XP. So we should be getting reimbursed that XP that we didn't collect, but there is no news on that yet. Uh, whether or not it's coming in the next update or something, we have yet to see. Right, so let's go and have a look at the item shop. Uh, the item shop has had quite a bit of a change as well looks pretty cool um, we've got Wrath which is part of the cryptic curse bundle and he comes with a back bling you can change the styles as well and you get a harvesting tool you got challenges to get the new styles and that costs 1600 V bucks uh, it's pretty decent Raptor is back with a new style uh, for Halloween pretty cool we've got the back -a lantern back bling which I think is Simple yet effective. I quite like the back of lantern, I must admit. Now we've got the zombie soccer skins, which you know about as well. Got a new pickaxe, a rare one, 800 V-Bucks, the Storm King Fist, which I think is quite cool. And we've also got the new Storm King music, so we'll put that on and have a listen to it. Simple yet very effective, so I am gonna buy that. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, I'll buy that and mark it as a favourite. Um, so, career store. We have the final reckoning pack is still on sale in the store, and we have the new Wave Breaker special pack, the £4 starter pack. Comes with the Wave Breaker. Uh, I think it's called the Wave Breaker skin. It's got a bat bling, a uh, pickaxe, and 600 V-Bucks, all for 4 GBP. So that's a pretty valuable value pack. Now, game modes. We've got the Solo Duo Squads Team Rumble. We've got Arena Playground Creative. We also have the Combined Solo, Gunfright, and Storm King. Now, I am going to hop in and have a little look at the Storm King game mode uh, myself. We'll have a little look at that right now, right here in this video. Um, it, I assume it's going to be hard on your own right. Fortnite presents Tempest of the Storm King. Call your shot. Attack his weak spots for massive damage. Take out the horns before he revives or his weak spots will regenerate. Um, play smart. Build strategically to defend against deadly aerial attacks and collect items and resources from the Fiend Horde to stay in the fight. Now, as you may have noticed in the background of five skins, those are the five skins that were displayed in Gotham City Theatre for the final reckoning. Um, oh, cooperate. Team up with a large team of players and battle the Storm King. Oh, wait, so do we end up with like 50 players all fighting the Storm King? Heal and revive your team to stay in the fight. Okay. Hmm. So the battle bus is back to the creepy Halloween one that we had last season. Uh, you have 16 players in this game mode and the map is currently covered in fog. Now there is a new thing at the side of the map. Um, 
this new thing is fairly simple. It shows you your altitude um, when you're gliding. It's quite intriguing to see. Now, what else have they hidden in amongst this update? Well, for starters, there's a lot of noisy music in this game mode. But, like, what actually can we see? What new things are there to discover? Well, one of them that is rather interesting is that Loot Lake has had a complete change. It's had a revamp. How much of a revamp? Well, we'll go and have a look at that now. Oh my god. Half my team just got knocked out. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a new feature or if it's just for this game mode, but um, I do appear my health bar is actually shaking. Oh my god. This looks like it could be quite fun. Right, new landmark, Isle of the Storm. This is only in for Fortnite now. Whoa! So, he's got these weak points. He makes cube themes. Um, pretty cool, I must admit. Jeez, whatever these attacks are that he's hitting us with, they are pretty scary. <laughs> oh, they have the purple vent things back on there as well. They launch you round. Right, we need to hit that weak point and we need to hit it good. His arm is in the way. <laughs> We've almost killed him. The storm horn. So once you hit those weak points, you've got to destroy his horn really quickly. Otherwise, the weak points will re-heal themselves. And, oh my god. I don't think we won. <laughs> I really don't think we won. Um, okay, that's pretty scary. <laughs> oh my god. Our team are slowly but surely getting overrun. Um, Because not only do you have the Storm King to fight, you also have monsters to destroy as well. So... The only way that we survive this is if we heal those mock teammates. Right, just how hard is this game mode? Yeah. Um, so far, all I'm saying is fun, but incredibly hard. I'm ripping into him with literally everything I have and it's doing nothing. Oh my god. We're down to nine players. Eight players for that matter. We need to revive those that get knocked. Otherwise, there's just no way we're going to get this going. We're just going to run out of players very, very quickly. And the less players you have, the easier it is to get overrun.
Oh my god. Storm King is incredibly powerful. I, uh, I don't know just how you actually meant to kill him. He's got a ridiculous amount of health. These are storm with the power I'm moving, I suppose. I suppose you've got to use all the loot that you get from the fiends to kill him. But they don't seem to give you a massive amount. Um. I'm kind of worried because I know that if we destroy this weak point, we're then going to go for the horn again. And after the first time, I can already see that that's a challenging thing to pull off. We're down to seven players, and a couple of those are not. At least one, maybe two. Um, sentry guns are back in this game mode, though. Like, the traps... Oh my god. Ah, his Stormhorn doesn't regenerate. It's good to, it's good to say. So, you basically just got to attack the Stormhorn as many times as you can. So... Um, that's how you, this is how you kill the Storm King, um, destroy the weak spots, attack the Stormhorn without everyone dying, um, which is very easier said than done. Um, right. So, what sort of weapons are best for us? I actually don't know. <laughs> I'll admit, you don't get a lot of weapon choice. Oh my god, I'm being chased. Well, that's something you don't want to see. People getting chased. And you really don't want your teammates getting knocked out if you can help it. Right. At least we're now getting more powerful weaponry, which could help. I genuinely question how much health this guy does have. Like... Seriously? He doesn't seem to want to die at any point. Oh, sorry about that. Man. Let me just pause the video a second, people. Unfortunately, literally the moment I paused it, I got knocked, and I'm over the other side, away from all the others. Um, chances of me getting back up are low. Chances of us killing the Storm King, they're decreasing rapidly. Um, the thing I'll admit is he's actually not too bad to destroy. Like, we can kill him, just we need to not get killed ourselves. Right, I think this guy's going to try and get me up. If he can, if he's successful in doing so, that will help. That will greatly, greatly help. As long as we don't both get knocked as soon as we get back up. Oh 
Right. His weak spot's weak. We're about ready to take this one off him. Yes. All right, then he's got one more, then we can go back in for the horns. All right. I don't know if a way to get him done quicker would include destroying the spawners of his monsters. I'm going to suggest that it helps. Yeah, that greatly helps. Destroying the spawners, it doesn't damage him. But it prevents the zombies from hitting you. Now that spin attack, I've discovered, uh, removes all the loot on the screen. Like, all the loot in the area is destroyed by that attack. So you want to be very, very, very wary of that. The intriguing thing to think about is how much XP you'll actually get from each game of this. As, I mean, I should think it'll be in the several thousands. It, and the amount of zombies there are to kill, you're getting 45 per zombie, so it should be a reasonable amount of XP, right? We're down to four players and one's just got knocked. Right, we are quite literally down to the final four players. And it's worrying that we haven't even done half of that storm hole. Right. That's gonna nah, I caught me. Alright, there's four of us, two of us are knocked. Okay, scratch that down to three. One of us are knocked, and I'm about to go down. Right, there are two people left. Um, so, this is proving just how powerful it is to have teammates in this game mode. You definitely need them. Um, is the Stormhorn, does the Stormhorn have too much health? Possibly. Do you get long to destroy the Stormhorn? No. So, working with teammates is crucial, otherwise you're not going to win. You need, you need to try and keep as many of the 16 players alive as possible. Um, and one thing I will state... Uh, your loot will improve over time by the looks of it. So, the longer you guys can stay alive, the, m the uh, more likely you are to deal that last bit of damage to him. But does he have too much health? Possibly. Are you likely to kill him if people die too quickly? No. You need as many of those 16 alive as possible. Um, are we going to win this round? No, we're not. <laughs> These two are liable to get overrun at any moment. Um, yeah. So that's been a, just a quick look at Fort Nightmares. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it informative and fun to watch. And I will see you all in the next one.